Oh, oh we'll have uh, two hit points and a big flat one. Can I have a flat one, Mum? Shh. Sorry, Dad. Yeah, all right. Two points, uh, two flats and a packet of gravel. Packet of gravel. Should be a good one this afternoon. Yeah? Local boy. Oh, good. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Croc, son of Croc. Do I say yes? Yes. Yes. You stand accused of not thinking that Hamilton from Disney Plus is not a masterpiece. And so you have been condemned to be stoned to death. Ah, oh, look. All I said was, what if it is a little overrated? I still think it's pretty well shot and everything like that. I just said, what if it is a little overrated? G'day little nippers and welcome to the show. Okay, yeah. Before we get into this, throughout the film industry many people have split opinions on things. It's not actually that uncommon. I personally love Avatar, but I can respect what people say they hated about it and heck, I even sometimes agree to a point. However, I think that the stage musical subgenre has many more works than most that are pretty debatably split. I know several people who hated the Book of Mormon, but loved Phantom of the Opera. I know many people who said they hated Phantom of the Opera, but loved Avenue Q. My point is that musicals are a very different entity than films. Films convey realism, or they should, anyway and detail high levels of focus on things that two or more people interacting with each other can pick up on fairly easily on a more socially observational level and can perhaps gain more emotion from the viewer on a more intimate base. Musicals on stage, on the other hand, work very differently. They rely on engaging with multiple people at once in a very confined space. Therefore, to compensate, they need to convey huge amounts of physical and verbal energy to share amongst the sea of thousands watching them. And to make the magnitude of their emotions and gripping energy reverberate around them, like they kind of cocoon them in a bubble made of musical energy. So, strap yourselves in, little nippers, as we delve into the first stage musical film, Hamilton. Ugh, God help us. To start with, let's focus on the genuinely positive things about this film, and let's face it, film is the art form they chose, but we'll get onto that in a second. It can't have been easy to film this. As I said, musicals on stage rely on dispersing huge amounts of physical energy to disperse amongst many people at once. However, the way the cinematography works in this film, it's some of the best I've ever seen. The way each shot is filmed conveys so much energy that it's hard to find any fault with it purely on that basis alone. Another thing they did through use of cinematography was the scope and size. They made this production look enormous. The seat they used is obviously a standard size stage, but again, from the different filming techniques and shots, the results made it look 10 times bigger than it actually was. The production really spared no expense here, and the effort really shows up in all the good lights here. Thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, look at the energy and engagement of each of the actors. Every single one of them, 
from the main characters to the background extras, is focused and committed to their individual role within the show. And on that alone, I am adding one extra croc point. It's just, it's just fantastic. So all in all, this film did start to show promise. Until this bit. The moment he opened his mouth, the magic was lost for me, and yes, I know this is controversial, but there are some genres that simply do not mix. And thus we come to the problematic choice of making this stage musical a stage film. For example, you cannot mix the British comedy of Ricky Gervais's extras and a historical musical like Les Miserables. It simply doesn't work. The art forms are too drastically different and all you'll be left with is confusion. You cannot mix a fantasy action series like Game of Thrones with a rom-com chick flick like Bridesmaids. I know what you're thinking. We're too different. It'll never work. What will the children look like? Because again, the filming styles, techniques and acting styles will overly end up devaluing each other more and more until the audience won't be left with a single shred of value at all left by the end. Rarely you will get a director with enough talent to make it scrape by like him flushed away, but that film was far from a masterpiece. And in my opinion, you cannot mix 21st century rap style hip hop with real world historical events, with all the connotations that implies. However, some people love this idea, and don't get me wrong, I can respect the artsy direction that they're trying to head in with this production. There is a kind of romantic and engaging poetry in trying to mix old with the new, and I can respect that on an artistic basis, I guess. What will the children look like? However, to me, the flawless style it is shot in, and the way that each song is conveyed through... Uh, through rap... It's just too much energy expressed in the wrong place. And it just ends up coming out to me with a weird taste. There seems to be also a modern social element hidden within the subliminal messaging of this direction as well, and I think that it also leaves a bad taste, especially when you know what happens to the founding fathers of America. However, the main problem I have is the style of music, and I'll say again, rap and history don't mix. And the director, with the best will in the world, simply wasn't talented enough to make this work. As each song went by, I just found myself becoming less and less engrossed in the story and more distracted by the music. And what's worse, they didn't even let it simmer with real talking. It was done in the style of Les Miserables, where they just sing every time they want to talk to each other. And it was just too much for me. Overall, I feel this film had a lot of praise for the wrong reasons, and while I can respect that the artistic value and poetry of combining old with new is an attractive prospect, and something to try and accomplish, I feel that making the stage musical into a film certainly wasn't the way to go. The director they got to try and achieve this simply wasn't talented enough to make this successful, and in my honest to god opinion, I don't think that die-hard fans of this like the production for the cinematography or anything of true value here. No, no, what they like is the modern progressive values and now it's available on the mainstream, I feel they grab onto this and wave it around like, ironically, a flag of the stars and stripes that this production is trying to represent at the birth of America. I would have scored this film originally 5 out of 10 croc points, however I will award an extra one 6 out of 10 croc points for the sheer amount of physical effort and energy that the actors had in this production. It was extremely professionally done. The execution of the art style and mixing of the genres however, are at least to me a little to be desired for the future. Take care little nippers, be sure to like, subscribe, Follow me on Twitter and, if you can, support me on Patreon.
See you in a while, crocodiles! What will the children look like? <laughs>